New information on the crash that killed two people Friday in Virginia Beach. Police say 45-year-old Pasquale D'Estasio and 28-year-old Esterlin Stein died in that crash on Independence Boulevard. Officers say a Honda hit another car and then a van. The driver in the van is okay. Police say speed is a factor in this crash, but it remains under investigation tonight. There is another pitch for a new toll in Hampton Roads, one that would charge you for getting in the fast lane and out of traffic. It's a big one, too, stretching from the peninsula to the south side. The toll lanes would go from Jefferson Avenue in Newport News all the way to Bowers Hill. So how would it work? And can it work? Ten on your side's Asia Tolliver is on toll patrol tonight. Asia. Well, guys, whenever you hear the word toll, there's going to be a lot of questions from drivers, but this new hot lane toll is actually an option. It's not mandatory, but it all comes down to the question. Are you willing to pay to get yourself out of a traffic jam? Sitting in bumper to bumper traffic on I-64 during rush hour is almost inevitable, especially near the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. But what if there was a way to dodge the traffic jams? Well, that's what HRTPO Deputy Executive Director Michael Kimbrell says a new proposal is doing, all for a price. I don't think we're ever going to have enough land or money to build our way out of congestion. So another alternative then is to manage the transportation system you have better. And one way to do that is with these managed lanes. Uh, it's a way to, to provide everyone with an option to have a reliable trip. Kimbrell says the proposal would create a managed lanes network through this 45 mile stretch of I-64. The idea is to turn the existing HOV lanes into hot lanes and connect that all the way through. HOV vehicles could use the hot lane without paying a toll. So if you find you're alone sitting in traffic, you could swing over into the hot lane, pay a toll and get through faster, or you can just ride it out in the general purpose lanes. Now, will this create even more of a traffic nightmare? Kimbrell doesn't think so. They're going to manage them to keep the traffic flowing at at least 45 miles an hour. So as traffic speeds start to slow down because you're getting a lot more people using the lane, uh, they increase the toll a little bit. So it, it dissuades some people from using the lane. Hot lanes in Northern Virginia on I-495 have topped $30. Kimbrell says that won't happen here. We don't think it's going to get, uh, get very high and certainly not as high as they've been experiencing up in Northern Virginia. Our traffic is quite different here than, than up there. Now all of this ties into the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel Project because by December they have to sign a toll agreement that would have to include these new hot lane tolls as well. So you will definitely know one way or the other where this is going by December. And now right now they are in the beginning stages. They haven't decided how much those tolls are going to be or where they're going to be placed along that 45 mile stretch. But that's something we're working to find out. Now if everything continues on the right path, this is scheduled to be phased in by 2025. In Chesapeake, I'm Aisha Tolliver, tonight on your side.